Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing this full face of gothic makeup and actually for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using only two shades from the Conspiracy palette. So if you'd like to see how I got this entire look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I am starting this with nothing on. I'm going to do a full face of makeup and I'm going to start with my eyebrows and also my eyes because the palette I'm going to be using does have a little bit of fallout. For my eyebrows, I'm using the Kiko Precision Eyebrow Pencil. And no, I didn't cut my wrist, but on Monday morning, I took a pretty nasty fall and I have a really big wound on my wrist. So this one is in the shade 01 and it's the darkest eyebrow pencil that I have. So for this look, I really want my eyebrows to be very dark. I actually quite like the color of this brow pencil because even though my hair is not black, it's a very dark brown, my eyebrows are almost black. And I kind of think a more dark brown suits me. For eyeshadow primer, I'm using as usual the Kiko Neutralite Base. And I think I'm going to do one eye and then the other one off camera. And for this look, I actually took a little bit of inspiration from the t-shirt that I'm wearing. That is one of the more gothic t-shirts that I have and it's one of my favorite of all time. And this is what the print of the t-shirt looks like. So there's a lot of black and some blues and as you can tell by the title for this look i really wanted to use the jeffree star conspiracy palette and i thought this would be a nice time to do a gothic makeup even though i have this video idea on my list for a very long time because he mentioned he would be coming out with a gothic palette or a goth dreams palette even though in my opinion the cremated palette is not that gothic but anyway for this look I'm mainly going to be using my rights here and I'm also using what's the tea so I'm taking a kind of dense blending brush this is the Kiko 58 and I'm taking the shade my rights here and I'm going to pack it on the lid really without being afraid and I could have also used a black gel eyeliner as an eyeshadow base, but this black, I feel like it really doesn't need that. Okay, so I basically tapped the eyeshadow and in one application I got all this pigmentation. I'm just blending the edges a little bit with this one. And I'm taking the Jessup Petite Eye Blender that is very similar to this one but is smaller to get better on the inner corner. And I'm taking the black shadow just a little bit above my crease. Okay, and I'm happy with the black. So now I'm going to take another brush with the What's the Tea shade to blend that upper part. And I'm taking this brush. This is basically a very fluffy brush. So this is the 230 brush from Primark and I think this one will help to pack the blue shade and also blend it with the black very well. So I'm blending this one a little bit on top of the black which creates 
a little bit more of a dark blue color and then the part above it will be a lighter blue and I think this shade is actually very unique it's not very blue and it's not 100% green it almost looks like kind of a pastel teal maybe I don't really know how to describe it but I think it's a very unique shade I'm just taking the brush that had the black shadow with whatever's left to blend a little bit on the crease part. Okay, and I really like this sort of more rounded shape for this kind of look. And then I can also add a winged liner. So basically, conspiracy palette only two eyeshadows and a very pretty kind of bluish and black smoky eye. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side and I'll be right back. Okay, so for now that is the eyeshadow done and I'm going to do eyeliner. On my waterline I'm using the Kiko Everlasting Kajal and I'm also doing a wing with the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Okay, so the eyeliner is far from perfect, at least from this side, but I'm going to do mascara and for that I'm using the Standout Volume Buildable from Kiko and I'm not doing lashes, but if you like lashes you could also add them. And now I'm going to prime my face using the NYX Pore Filler and I'm just using this one a little bit where I have bigger pores so I had already cleaned up any fallout from that black eyeshadow and when I think of the gothic makeup I think of a very matte base and this one also helps to mattify For my foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage. So this is one pump and then I'll see if I need more coverage. And when I was in high school, I didn't actually wear gothic makeup. Actually, I don't think I ever really wore gothic makeup, but because I was always wearing a lot of black, people actually thought I was gothic or even satanic. Definitely I wasn't, but it doesn't mean I don't like more gothic vibe, I definitely do. I'm a pretty big fan of horror movies, I like metal music, it's just not my everyday style. That is a pretty huge misconception thinking because someone wears a lot of black that they worship the devil. That's definitely not the case. So I think I'm just going to add a little bit more. For concealer, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Martin Concealer. And with this one, I think I'm just going to do one eye at a time because this has a really big coverage and I don't want it to dry too much. I'm still kind of getting used to this concealer. It's definitely a lot more than I was used to. And for powder, I'm using the Kiko Invisible Touch. Okay, now when I think of gothic makeup, I think of a very contoured look, but not too bronzed 
So I'm using the NYX Palette and Contour Pro Palette and I'm taking this contour shade and I'm also using the NYX Contour Brush. And I would even say blush is optional, but I'm going to use a more brownie color. This is the Givenchy Le Prism blush in Fashionista Brown. So I'm just giving a little bit of color, but nothing too much. And for highlighter, I'm using the Sof X Revolution palette. And I'm using this shade that is a little bit more subtle. And I'm just going to leave it here because then I'm going to use the same shade as inner corner and brow bone highlighter. I think that will kind of tie the whole look together. So now to finish my eyes, I'm going to take the shade My Rights here all over the lash line. And to blend this one, I'm going to take again the shade What's the Tea. So I'm basically doing the same thing on the bottom as I did on top. I actually took this shade very much on top of the black and that makes it a little bit more soft on the lower lash line. And as I mentioned, I'm taking that highlighter shade and I'm putting it on the inner corner and the brow bone. I could maybe use the shade Ranch from the Conspiracy palette, but I think that shimmery white is a little bit too much for this look. Okay, so to finish the eyes, I'm just going to use again the Kiko Everlasting Kajal and the mascara. Okay, now finally for my lips, I couldn't do a gothic makeup without using a black lipstick. I'm using the Kiko Creamy Color Lip Liner and this one is black, it's the shade 325. And I'm also using a lipstick from Kiko, this is the Glossy Mirror Emotion and this is a creamy lipstick in the shade 130. So this is going to take a lot of concentration. Okay, so a lip liner is definitely a must-have for this kind of look, but I definitely like this. And I'm just setting my makeup with the Primark Fix and Perfect. Okay, and that is the finished look. I must admit that I'm definitely feeling myself back in high school, really listening to metal music. I definitely love this look and I think this also shows a little bit my personality. If you haven't watched my personality picks my makeup, I will leave it up on the cards. I mentioned about that video that the look I got is not 100% my personality and I think this one fills in for the rest of it. And next week I'm actually going to be doing two different sides of my personality thing so stay tuned for that i'm still not very sure of what i'm going to do but i'm going to be doing two sides of different makeup and i think that'll be very interesting 
If you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. It helps me so, so much. And let me know in the comments down below if you actually like gothic makeup or if you don't. And if you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos like this every Monday and Thursday. And that is everything for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.